हेलो फ्रेंड्स मार्स मंगल विल टेक अ ट्रांसिट ऑन द फिफ्थ ऑफ डिसंबर इट्स गेटिंग इन टू हिज ओन साइन स्कॉपियो हेलो दिस इज रिकी चड्डा फ्रॉम एस्ट्रो हीलर चैनल now we have to understand that when mars is going to get into his own sign where he is going to have a conjunction with ketu sun mercury as well as for some time it may just it's a touch and go situation for moon as well mars is entering into the sign of scorpio and just a previous day on the 4th you will witness a solar eclipse <clears throat> this solar eclipse as mars will enter the 4th and the 5th it will also form a kal sarp yoga so this transit is taking place 5th december 2021 at early morning 5 am i would say yeah it shall remain in the position till the 4th of january 2022 looking at this tra uh, transit and the conjunction that has been formed let us see what are the effects that each sign will be uh, feeling or will witness during this uh, 45 days of transit of mars so let's begin with the first sign aries so friends before i begin with the first sign aries uh, let me uh, share with you the current position that means the position on that day fifth mars is going to enter into the 8th house from in the default uh, horoscope it's the 8th house it is it shall be in conjunction with ketu mercury and sun aspecting jupiter aspecting rahu now keeping this position in your mind let us begin with the first sign aries <clears throat> see for aries mars is ruling your first house and the 8th house and it is transiting from your 8th house itself so during this transit you may face difficulties in attaining your goals or you may feel that some people are talking behind your back or backstabbing uh, also i see that family members also may not understand you though you are putting all the efforts to uh, get you know uh, get into coordination with them it's also to take care of your health because there are four planets now in your 8th house health has to be uh, it can cause some concern married life also may lack some happiness misunderstanding could be there try to be uh, soft spoken and act mature as much as you can if you are single which uh, if you want and you are planning to get married maybe try to postpone it for some time next sign is taurus for taurus it is the uh lord of your 11th uh, and the 7th house which is transiting from the 7th itself now we have to even understand that from the 7th house it is aspecting the 1st house 10th house and the 2nd uh, house this period is not all that favorable in dealing uh, with your spouse or your partner you are advised if you have to deal with your partner talk be transparent express yourself don't bring ego uh, or that may spoil things financial position also looks uh, good but uh, maybe you will have to borrow some money uh, that is uh, something which is on the card you will remain very hot tempered irritated mood swings speech could be very harsh try to control that but in spite of all the challenges that i have just spoken about i see a lot of confidence in you that means you will be able to deal with uh, whatever situation you are put into if you are a student i would request you to put sincere effort in your studies so that you achieve what you want to achieve 
even if you are planning to go abroad uh, the time is good health wise i would say the situation is moderate the next sign is gemini for gemini it is the lord of your 11th house and the 6th house and transiting in the 6th house from 6th house it is looking at the 9th house 12th house and the 1st house now this situation is uh, like hard work and if you are putting lot of efforts definitely you will see positive results coming this transit will also help you uh, grow your enthusiasm towards your goals your desires but at the same time i do not want you to waste your energy in you know uh, very uh, hot arguments debates because if this energy if you save and convert into something to take positive action the result would be much more better also you will be very productive and very positive if you want even if you are into a new venture or something your luck seems to be favor now and you need to even take care of uh, you know other people's opinion as well students will succeed in competitive exams because the 6th house is playing a role over here health is now likely to improve this is a good time to start your daily exercise if you have not been doing for a long time start go uh, and hit the gym next sign is cancer for cancer the lord of your 10th and your 5th house is transiting from your 5th house 5th house is about love romance uh, affairs children and from here uh, uh, mars is looking at your 8th house 11th house and the a uh, 12th house relationship with family members may not be very cordial uh, as per as per your expectation you may face some problems at your professional front also because there you know some of your competitors opponents uh, colleagues will try the try their best to create an unpleasant uh, you know uh, scenario for you financially i would advise you to keep your expenses under control you may face difficulty in because then you will be you will be borrowing money and you will have difficulty in paying them to do like a lot of debts on your head health uh you can say health behavior mannerism of your uh, children should be taken care of <clears throat> you will you will and you should keep a very positive uh, surrounding around you so that you you draw energy from that you will have a very soft conversation which is very good <clears throat> and this softness is going to fulfill all your desires travel yes is possible uh, personally maybe you will feel a little uh, away drifted from your uh, love partner or your spouse and maybe even family members love life i would say will remain little stressful mangal being in the uh, in the fifth house is going to cause some differences at least so the best is uh, if you both cannot handle it let a third person uh, maybe uh, or somebody can come and do the job for you the next sign is leo now for leo the uh, the planet mars is ruling the ninth and the fourth house and it is transiting from the 4th house itself from 4th house it is looking at the 7th house 10th house and the 11th house in your personal life uh, it can be said that you know it's a very exciting time for you you'll spend very good time with your family professional life also will uh, start showing you good results this is of course a very auspicious time if you want to buy property or you want to purchase a new car you will be you will receive very uh, substantial uh, considerable profit if you have invested somewhere for student i would say there are chances that you may have to face some obstacles in the path of your education so you should avoid 
taking up any new courses uh, or pursuing a new degree degree for some time just wait for some time because here there could be a little <coughs> issue health will remain average but maybe you will feel a little disoriented tired uh, physically as well as mentally as well avoid unnecessarily stress chill out and do your exercise <coughs> virgo now for the sign of virgo it is your eighth uh, lord and your third lord, uh, lord which is transiting from your third house itself it is aspecting the 6th the 9th and the 10th house i see that this transit of mars will prove to be very encouraging for you you may also receive some rewards recognition and people will start approaching you a positive uh, result i see for the sign of virgo financially this period uh, will give you good result and you will progress in your endeavors whatever you have taken personally maybe your um, your main concern could be your life partner you may face some problem in your relationship uh, and you may get little stressed due to uh, some loans that you have taken and you have to repay that loan but it's a very short lived uh, situation definitely you don't have to don't have to stress out yourself it's a, just a 40 45 days transit it will pass by relax <clears throat> uh i would ask you to also be careful uh, when you are using any sharp weapon okay uh, because you may get a burn or a cut or an accident also i also see that family relationship marital life will remain very harmonious and you may go for a short trip somewhere so situation is good as far as domestic uh, life is concerned academics if you are a student uh, you will definitely improve during this transit and you will enjoy if you have just joined a new college or a new uh, course maybe some past health issues may start Uh, start now. You know those issues, but for a very long time, you are recovering from that issues now. Those issues, sorry. You can expect some positive uh, positivity in your life during this uh, transit, and your self confidence is coming back, which you actually had uh, lost. So, all seems good. The next sign is Libra. Now, Libra, a very balanced uh, <clears throat> sign. your second and your seventh lord is now transiting from the second house second house is of your family your wealth your speech your right right eye and so on so during this transit i would uh, i think <clears throat> you may feel too much of aggression in you which may spoil the relationship with people around you so and especially when you are talking to someone you may be very uh, blunt or no or you could be talking in a very, very harsh way even with family members or friend circle as well this transit of mars is auspicious uh, especially if you want to manage the situation or you have if you have if you have some disagreement with your relatives and friend you must make sure that you understand that sometime what you speak may hurt someone so just relax in marriage there could be some unseen uh, problems that may just uh, crop up so you need to respect love your partner your uh, your your love if you were looking to uh, make a geographical shift relocate yourself uh, or even going abroad uh, whether in uh, going abroad for a professional reason or for academics also 
it's a very favorable time for you in your romantic life as i have said earlier also your your partner or your spouse will definitely support you so the moral support that you know, each one of us need it's coming to you for liberals yes health stay a little uh, just don't take stress chill out and everything will be fine scorpio now scorpio is the sign where all these things are happening so it is the first and the sixth house which is completely activated now and mars is in the first house it is looking at the fourth seventh and the eighth house now here for scorpio people you may say okay mars is my own uh, a lord and it's come to my own sign so everything should be good good yes but be careful when you're taking decisions regarding financial investments and all you may you may feel a uh, disappointment because of the failure of your efforts that you have been putting for a long time that may cause some uh, jealousy irritation mood swings this period can also trouble you in your financial matters also some financial losses are also seen so financially it is not a very good period for you you will need to work really very hard to get the rewards of whatever you have desired for try to avoid uh, professional business trips or even if you are just going for a trip with uh, you know with the family yes i see that you know that this transit this period is also very positive and will definitely increase your happiness especially with your health it is a favorable time for buying property vehicles or other material uh, materialistic things next sign is a sign of sagittarius sagittarius you have to understand the lord of your 5th house and the 12th house is into the 12th house 12th house is of expenses salvation and mental tension as well for sagittarius i have been saying everything is good maybe this a little trouble a some period may just put you on a, a back foot and why you may feel energetic but the anger is up going to be a problem that is what is going to uh, cause uh, like you know uh, will spoil relation maybe with your uh, loved ones dear ones or in your social circle as well during this transit i also see that uh, keep a check on people who are doing some conspiracy behind you you may have to uh, or you may have a very strong uh, desire of manifesting many of your desires and even if it doesn't relax for some time if you are married then you may you may get into some misunderstanding or disharmony with your uh, husband or wife so remain calm no no aggression and no ego just a little bit of changes in your attitude will be better you may also get a chance to travel or travel abroad also or if you are looking for a permanent residence or if you have applied for a visa or something things may be in your favor this time i see there could be some challenges and some obstacles during this transit um, may be in your professional life which will again stress you you know you must take extra uh, care of your health health wise also situation is not so so this i would say till the uh, till it goes into the next sign your own sign just wait for some time it's just a transit for 45 days capricorn Now coming to Capricorn, Capricorn, the uh, the ruler, the swamp, the the lord of your fourth house and the eleventh house, both are just is into your eleventh house. So Mangal in the eleventh house, Mars in the eleventh house. Oh my God! Looking at the second house, fifth house, and sixth house, 
this transit will be really favorable for you capricorn you are getting better 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 the sarasati the last phase you are just approaching this will prove to be very beneficial and you will be able to get all favorable results now for lovers people who are, who are into a romantic relationship some misunderstanding may just <clears throat> happen in your relationship so just that uh, that pocket you need to handle you will feel satisfied as far as your health is concerned is concerned which you have been facing some issues many of your friends will come to your uh, to your support people will respect you they will recognize you now you also have to respond to your opponents and during this time uh, because see your opponents also gives you a chance to grow in life so they have been doing uh, maybe they 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 were in competition but you must show your respect if you are a student then if you are wishing to get an admission somewhere and you are looking for a very long time success is sure initially you may feel a little difficulty maybe things are not working some documentation got stuck somewhere but later on you will definitely join however you should also keep patience uh, if things are not moving initially and don't lose hope be positive things will materialize it has to materialize you need to have lot of uh, you know discipline in your life as far as, as far as your health is concerned uh, which i mean to say make sure that you are eating the right type of food also there are chances of minor health issues that is come, that may come your way so if it does uh, go for a check up as soon as possible aquarius is the next sign this sign the lord of your third house and the 10th house is transiting from the 10th house 10th house mars is <clears throat> taking charge so you will get success you will get in all the end but you need to understand in spite of having the respect and recognition there is a possibility also that maybe some people behind your back may plan something against you do not underestimate your enemies this is something that you have to keep in your mind do not even keep a company or associate yourself with people who are not wise and you know that they are not good people because you may be in trouble otherwise you will also feel very responsible inside yourself uh, but from from the surface you will always so show that you are very confident person which is which is a correct way of handling things it is also a, a very good time for you to express uh, the ideas that are just like you know is coming in your mind express it write it down at least give your best and enjoy your work during this transit it's a good transit little bit of like you know it happens the last sign we shall be talking about is the sign of pisces the lord of your second house and the lord of your ninth house is transiting from your ninth house a house which talks about fortune luck and religion guru preaching teachings and so on from the ninth house mars is going to look at your 12th house the third house and the fourth house you need to maintain a very good or healthy diet exercise regularly financial for finances will remain stable and if you think for investment go for a long term investments if you are a student then academically i would say that your performance will be good So it's a favorable time for if you want to go for or take up some under uh, uh, some new courses or taking some training and so and so and so and so. You will be able to maintain a good health only if you put efforts. You know, if you keep a discipline in your life. See, because if you are healthy. you will be able to concentrate on your work you will 
come out of that stress even if it is there and it is always advisable that you should all, uh, keep yourself fit <clears throat> if you are planning to go abroad if at all if you, if you are planning to go abroad it's a good time for you you may go abroad with your spouse also it's a wonderful uh, time i see pleasure i see leisure i see that you are you can also expect some surplus profit in your business in your profession if you have invested somewhere you are getting the money so things are in a in a good form for you all so friends this was all about mars in this uh, which is taking a transit on the 5th of december if you did like this video give it a like click on the notification bell icon as well and subscribe to my channel if you haven't still thank you so much take care